on today's episode of Theatre Geek, we teach you how to make an actor resume. questions like my kid is into acting, you know, how do I make her an acting resume or um, things like that. So for a child's resume, there's five main parts. There's the appearance, the about me section, um, the experience, the education, and the references. So the first part um, in the appearance section, you include how tall you are, how much you weigh, what your hair color is, what your eye color is, what size shirt you wear, what size pants you wear, what size shoe you wear, um, all the things that would relate to your appearance. And then um, after that, you include a short paragraph that is just about me. So it would include like, um, I enjoy acting because, I enjoy theater because, um, this is the things that I like to do outside of theater. This can be particularly important. So if your child plays piano or an instrument, um, the director or producer could be looking for a child who plays an uh, instrument in particular. So that can be an extra bonus thing to have. Um, so, you know, list, list those things. Like my child rides horses in free time or I ride horses in my free time. Um, you know, the director might be looking for something where um, the actor has to be able to ride horses well um, in order to go over jumps or whatever. This is particularly relevant in film um, where they're looking for a specific thing where they might have a horse stunt or something and need a child or an um, adult to be able to know how to ride a horse already. Um, and then the second section is your experience. So in this section, just include, you know, here's the plays I've been in, here's what parts I play, and then after what part you play, so list what it is, like what the play was called, then list what theater it was at, and then list what part you played. And then because the person might not be familiar with what kind of, with what that part is, or they might not be familiar with that play, you would include... It was a lead, it was an ensemble, put that in parentheses next to what part. So, um, like I could list, um, for those of you who are in I Never Saw Another Butterfly, this would help you. Um, I would list, I Never Saw Another Butterfly at Flat Rock Playhouse. Um, I played Raya, and then put in parentheses after the name Raya Leading Lady. Or I played Pavel, and then put Leading male or um, lead or if you were in the ensemble you would put um, your character's name and then you would put ensemble in parentheses. Um, following that section you put in your education. So for those of you who um, have any theater education this could include classes, um, courses, um, workshops, whatever it is that you've been in you would list it in this area in education. Um, and just list what class it is, what it was for, um, if somebody who's in the business taught it, you know, um, what their name was maybe. Um, just list in the classes that you've been in um, and when you were in them. 
Also, when you list your experience, also list when you were um, performing, um, when you were in those classes. And then following that, you would include um, the last but definitely not least section would be references. Um, in your references, include people who have worked with you in the past and who like you and would give you a good review somewhere. So you would list their name and their phone number. It's very similar to a normal job resume there. Um, at the bottom of your resume or up at the top in your appearances, you need to put your contact information on there, obviously, because if you don't, then they might not, like, if you show up in an audition and you bring a resume and you have to fill out a sheet of paper with all that information, they not, might not keep that sheet of information, but they might keep your resume on file. And if they keep your resume on file and then they decide they need you for something, they need a way to contact you. So just be sure to include your contact information somewhere, um, maybe at the top underneath your name um, or in your appearance section, or also at the bottom of your resume in a footer in a footer section for those of you who know what that is. Um, and also include a headshot. This can be very um, simple or very complex. Um, you can go somewhere and get your picture professionally taken for a headshot, or you can have a friend or family member who is um, knows a little bit about photography take your picture. It needs to look professional. Um, don't include like, you know, Facebook pictures that were taken on your phone or whatever. Um, include what looks like a very professional picture because this is, especially if you're an actor or actress, this could sometimes mean you getting the job or not because ever, acting is sometimes very visual. It is very visual um, when um, casting is extremely visual. So make your headshot look as professional as you possibly can or can afford to um, make it look. I wouldn't suggest, especially if you're beginning, like going out and spending a lot of money getting a picture taken, but um, have fr friends or a family member take a good picture and um, maybe do some a little bit of editing on it. Um, and that's everything. So acting resumes are really simple. I would just like to remind you guys that we will not have an episode up next week due to Thanksgiving and um, some things that are um, that I'm getting involved in right now. So we will not have an episode up next week, but we will try to have one up the following week. I'll keep you guys posted, um, even if it is a little webcam video that says we're not having an episode this week. So sorry about that, guys, but Thanksgiving and going out of town and all that awesomeness, you know, sometimes that's what happens. So anyways, until not next week, but the week after next week, um, have a great Thanksgiving, and I'll see you guys by then. Thanks. Bye.